Good day, subscribers. Today is the fifth episode of Semester 1, CS6475 Computational Photography Midway Review. If you would like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right-hand corner. Again, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers for joining. We've made another big jump since the last episode, so thank you all. This episode's comic is what each person thinks of when you tell them you're a computer scientist. In the last episode, we looked at all the different specializations the OMS CS program offers, namely computational perception and robotics, computing systems, interactive intelligence, and machine learning. If you'd like to see more on this, make sure to check out the previous episode. There was a good comparison at the end. In this episode, we're going to be taking a deeper look at CS6475 Computational Photography. As you guys know, I'm about midway through this class, and I just finished my midterm about a week ago. So in this class, you learn how a camera works, how to analyze images using OpenCV, which is uh, part of it is feature recognition and image blending and working with images in Python. And as I said before, using OpenCV. So getting into the class, how is the grading broken down? For the most part, there's assignments, peer feedback, notebook quizzes, and the midterm and the final. The assignments do take a bit of time. Assignment one and two and three are a little bit easier because they don't involve too much coding, but assignment four did take a bit of time and the midterm really took a lot of time. I probably spent 50 hours working on the midterm and I wasn't able to fully complete it. Assignment one is really getting used to the class. So they'll have you take a picture, do a small report on it, and then submit it just to get you used to the process. Assignment two deals with Epsilon photography, which is very small changes within a photograph. Assignment three is a camera obscura. You can look up YouTube videos on that if you want, but it's basically creating a camera within a very dark room. And assignment four is image blending, which is the first assignment that had real programming in it, again using Python. For the programming homework, this class uses an auto grader called Bonnie, which you can submit your code to and get immediate feedback as to how well your code is running and what your code portion of the grade is. And then the midterm. The midterm was based around seam carving. Again, you can look up YouTube videos on that and I'll link some in the video description. Seam carving is an advanced technique and the midterm really did take a lot of time. So here we have how the grade is broken down. Assignment type one is just that first homework that as I said was pretty simple and assignment type two are all the different types of homeworks. Uh, the quizzes, like I said, the notebook quizzes, 6%. Midterm is a pretty large 12%. As I said, that midterm really does take a bit of time. Uh, and then I haven't gotten to all the different final proposals and final projects, so I can't really speak to that yet. So what are the prerequisites for the class? Basically, a good working knowledge of Python. As I said before in a previous episode, the class uses Piazza for peer-to-peer -peer commenting. And I've seen on Piazza recently a couple of students drop out just because their working knowledge of Python wasn't up to what was needed. So even if you know a language like Java or C or any other type language, do get comfortable with Python because that's basically the only language the class uses for homework assignments. Midterms and finals, you're allowed to use other types of programming languages, but I would really get comfortable with Python before taking the class. And secondly, you need a camera. I'm just using the camera off my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S6 and that seemed to work pretty well, but if you have a higher end camera or want an excuse, this is a great class for it. The commitment, uh, I would consider it a medium time commitment compared to other classes I'm considering taking in the future. It's about 12 hours a week, and that's including the homework assignment and the lectures. Lastly, I just wanted to go through some of the pros and the cons for the class so far. For pros, the information in the class is very interesting, and the lectures are pretty easy to get through, because of that. In addition, the teacher is pretty fun to listen to as well. And not all of the assignments are strictly programming. 
There are programming requirements, but you're able to do a little bit on the outside, namely taking pictures and analyzing the pictures visually. For cons, it is a large time commitment, about 12 hours a week. And then lastly, my least favorite thing about the class, the class runs off a 90% rule for assignments, which means when they're grading an assignment, the best you can do on an assignment, if you get everything perfect, is a 90 out of 100. To get that extra 10 points, you have to do what they call an above and beyond, which is you do a little bit of extra work, whatever you want to do, and that'll get you closer to 100. So far, I haven't gotten a 100 on an assignment other than assignment one, which isn't graded by the 90% rule. So it does make it a little bit more difficult to do really, really well in the class. But the above and beyond do kind of let you explore things that you might find interesting. So it's not all bad. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to learn something. If you have any questions or video requests, let me know in the comments. Thanks and subscribe.